we target to reach as many schools as our resources will allow because this is a message that every child should hear. Learning to self-protect is the beginning of protecting uh, the child and it is we, we found it futile when we teach adults to protect children but the children themselves don't understand what they need to be protected from. So children need to understand the kinds of the forms of abuse that exist and the ways in which adults or p other people in the community can abuse them. They also need to understand or to know the tools they can use to protect themselves. I would say generally Embu County is like a hub of child abuse. Every side of Embu County, I cannot, even right now, I cannot see any part of Embu that I would say is absolutely free of violence against children. So this is rampant in every part of the county. And apart from the normal kind of abuses, we know cases of sexual violence are rampant in our county. And we also have many cases of FGM, and that is documented. We know that this has been happening. And so on a day like today, we also help the children understand how they can also self-protect and protect other children from these kind of violations. Embu being one of the county that we, we are implementing, uh, we felt well, there's need to address the gaps that are affecting children, matters of child protection, uh, child abuses, and uh, that's why we are here uh, to, 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 to sensitize children, um, create that awareness and still also be able to have children speak, uh, get their voice, uh, have them speak about issues that are affecting them uh, and that are not addressed, uh, and also just giving them a platform where they are able to learn their rights, uh, which maybe at times they are neglected, at times they are not aware of the rights that they, they have as children, and this may be an issue affecting them even in their learning, in their social being, how they, they grow up even as children. The reason why we also target children is also to have their voice. For many reasons, uh, for quite a number of time, as adults we tend to think we know so much what happens to children, we make even decisions for them, but then bringing them and just also hearing from them what are the other issues they've been suffering is silent has been a good platform and we've had cases that uh, you couldn't imagine a child is going through certain thing but then getting that platform that is a safe environment they can speak and share whatever they are going through it empowers them because if another child hears that so and so was helped then even then they can, can they, they can come forward and also share their concern so children have been suffering uh, in silence and especially for instance, if I can give example, during COVID, uh, most maybe caregivers also lost their livelihood. Some of them had to go maybe for casual labors, and then you leave a child on their own. And uh, some of them were taken advantage, even especially children also with disability. You may find those instances when the child is left alone, not attended, and uh, it's an environment maybe that is not secure, uh, issues of child protection can happen. You can see me clap once. No. You can see